I was looking for a compact board that can recognize voice commands offline and be programmed without complex coding. Turns out this tiny thing can do exactly that and also detects faces, tracks motion and comes packed with a bunch of built-in sensors and even some RGB lights. This is the Unihiker K10 from DF Robo. It is an AI development board designed for beginners. In the front, it has a 2.8 inch LCD display, an ambient light sensor, an AHT20 temperature and humidity sensor, and two MEMS microphones for accurate voice recognition. And in the back, the built-in ESP32 provides Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a 2 megapixel camera, a 2 watt speaker, an accelerometer, 3 RGB LED lights, a micro SD card slot. It also has two programmable buttons and also the boot and reset button of the ESP32 is also accessible. It also has a battery connector for LiPo batteries but no protection circuits, so use batteries with built-in protection. Let me turn it on. The board comes with a pre-installed program that demonstrates all the hardware including voice assistant. There are four demo screens in this program. You can switch between the screens using the buttons on the side. So. The first one is face recognition. The demo is a simple face recognition, but it can be programmed to do complex tasks as well, such as adding overlays over faces and so on. The next one is voice recognition. In this mode, say Jarvis or Hi Telly to start voice commands. Once Jarvis. Once the microphone LED lights up, you can say any command that you have programmed. Turn on the light. Jarvis, turn off the light. Play animation. Play a game. Jarvis, turn on the light. The next one is a sensor reading mode. The different icons are mapped to different sensors on the board. The light sensor acts as the sun. So if I block the light, the sun shrinks. And the humidity and the temperature sensor readings are also shown. The next screen is just links to some tutorials. But the most interesting part about this board is that we can completely customize the software uh, for our own use. We do this using the Mind Plus software. It is a block based coding software that is completely easy for beginners to start with. Download and install it. I'll leave a link in the description. Once it's installed and open, the first thing to do is change the language. Go to the settings button here and select your language. I'm going to select English. Then go to the extensions settings on the left corner. In that, find and select the Unihiker K10. After that, connect your board to your computer and select connect device and select the K10 device. And now we are ready to program it. This is where we put our blocks and that will automatically generate the Arduino code on the right side. Let's try something simple like lighting up the LEDs. In the list of the blocks here, find the LED section and we'll use the first one that is turn on the LED. 
drag and drop the block into the loop section. Next, we want to change the color of the LED. Drag the same block into the loop again and change the color. But I want a small delay between the color change. For this, we use the weight block, which is in the control section. Go to the control section and take the weight one second block and put it in between the LED blocks. As you can see, as we change the blocks, the Arduino code is auto-generated here. You can simply upload the code now. After uploading, you can see that there is nothing on the screen because we have not written any code for the screen yet. But the LEDs are lighting up. Next, let's do something with the display. Remove all the old code and now go to the screen section and let's use the set background color block. Next, to show something on the screen like text or image, we need to cache them first. So we use the cache block for image or text. Let's show some text first. So use the cache text block, change the text and then show the cache content. So if you cache it several content, say like an image, a rectangle and then a text, all that will be displayed in the same order. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. Next, let's use the buttons and the sensors. I'm going to make a program that reads the sensor data and displays it on the screen as simple text. And by using the buttons, we should be able to switch between the different sensor readings. There you go, a simple UI where you can switch between the sensor reading using the buttons. Next to the most exciting part, the offline voice recognition. To include the voice recognition AI, add this block, the set speech recognition block. I leave these settings as it is, but change the language to English. Then add a voice command ID block. Here, type the voice command that you want the board to recognize and set an ID for it. Like this, add all the commands you need and assign unique numbers to them. Inside the loop, add an if else block. We will use this block to show on the display that the voice recognition is active. So in the condition slot, use the speech recognition awake condition. So what this block does is, if the speech recognition is awake, changes the background color and text. If it is not, it just shows a waiting text. And then add an if else block to deal with the detected voice commands. In the condition slot, add the command ID detected block and here Command 0 is for red, so we set the LEDs to red color when the command 0 is recognized. Similarly, we set the LEDs for the other two commands too. And that's it. Once you upload the code, it should be ready and waiting for your voice commands. Hi Tilly. Red color, blue color, 
ग्रीन कलर ब्लू कलर रेड कलर ब्लू कलर ग्रीन कलर इन द सेम वे यू कैन यूज द अदर ए आई ब्लॉक्स सच एज फेस रिकग्निशन और क्यू आर कोड रिकग्निशन जस्ट ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप द अप्रोप्रिएट कोड ब्लॉक्स एंड यू आर गुड टू गो and if you need to access more gpio pins the edge connectors make this board compatible with some of the micro bit expansion boards like these ones this one here has an onboard buzzer a battery holder and charging circuit it gives you access to gpio pins and i2c pins as well and it can run two motors This one here gives you access to all the GPIO pins and lets you control four DC motors or two stepper motors and up to eight servo motors. Combining these boards, the possibility of this device becomes endless. Like in this example, I am connecting a mini fan, which is a DC motor, to this motor board in the M4 terminal. and i have uploaded a code already connect the k10 board onto the adapter board plug in the power and just tell jarvis to turn the fan on jarvis start fan faster 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 slow down slow down slow down slow down faster 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 comment if you want to see more projects using this board and subscribe if this tutorial helped you see you in the next one